Yo, what's good, YouTube? Today, I'm gonna bring y'all a little video telling you how I grew my channel, specifically my Fortnite channel. I went from zero to a thousand subscribers in three months. Well, basically, it took me seven months to get to my first hundred, but after that, it took three months to get to a thousand. So, I'm basically gonna call it a thousand in three months. Now, I'm gonna give y'all some legit tips that I use as a small YouTuber, as I am still a small YouTuber when I was smaller, and what I'm still using right now to grow even more from a thousand to further on. But anyway, man, I ain't gonna waste no more of y'all time please make sure you like subscribe if you would enjoy my content i make a bunch of fortnite videos if you would enjoy that i think you'll enjoy my channel i'm really trying to make this youtube shit work so if you don't mind subbing for the latest content i also do no notification shout outs in the beginning of every single video just like this if you want to be in one comment note in my future videos and to do that you're gonna have to have notifications on so you're gonna have to subscribe but like i said man let's get on to this video all right first step before you even upload a damn video get your branding right bro when i mean branding i mean your name profile picture all the shit that people see when they click on your channel now the best way to do this is to be as unique as possible with everything you do for example not trying to offend anyone that does this but there's about 30 billion kids with a fortnite skin as their profile picture not saying it's bad if you like it, you like it but i'm saying if you want to be unique if you want to stand out do something different that's the best advice i can give y'all the only way to make it on this shit on this damn platform is to be different be unique don't be anyone else there's hundreds for those who say who do, they don't know how to make a banner stop the cap there's hundreds and hundreds of thousands of damn videos to show you how to make one on an iphone on a computer for absolutely free for those who say you can't do it you're not putting in enough effort this shit takes effort this shit takes a lot of fucking effort i'm telling you even just to get to 1k even if it's not much do your research bro if you say you can't do some shit use the platform you're trying to grow on search the shits up like i said thousands of damn tutorials about this shit use it. so after step one's over you got your branding good your name make sure when you're coming up with a name make sure it's something that sticks with you something short simple that's not like a lot of letters like my shit's four letters migo easy as fuck to remember migo i'm migo you're migo we're all migo try what i'm trying to say is try not to make it too difficult for example of something difficult fortnite try hard sweat 227x like some bullshit like that make it simple as fuck the best name are the easiest to say and like i said if you can't come up with a name use your own platform look it up you know how many like look up freaking uh sweaty fortnite names or some shit I'm telling you there's videos out there with literally a compilation of random sweaty fortnite as you like one take one if you already have one like me great i ain't gonna waste no more of y'all times in this first step we're gonna move along because remember the first thing people see when they open up your channel your name your profile picture your banner and really like you know how organized you are how neat it looks if it looks nice it looks nice but like people are gonna be more attracted to it than some other like ununique shit that that doesn't stand out if you know what i mean but anyway, moving on to step two. These first few steps, they're the basics of all of like a lot of people might already know this. I'm not trying to like repeat shit if you look up other tutorials of how to grow your channel, but I'm telling you, I'm gonna get more in depth into shit that people haven't been talking about. Shit that's coming from a small YouTuber growing that I can tell you that no one has. But for right now, I'm trying to cover the basics. Thumbnails. You're gonna go through this one quick because everyone tells you the same shit. I know you're not trying to hear the same shit. Make them catchy. And little tip if you have your face in your thumbnails, people are more likely to kick, click it. I have my face in all my damn thumbnails because I don't know why people are just much more attracted to it. It just stands out more. Like I said, shit that stands out, people click on. Having your face in your thumbnail stands out and is unique because no one else ever have that thumbnail because it's you. Unless you got some sort of weird ass twin somewhere trying to take your shit. But other than that, it's unique as fuck. What, what's unique stands out what stands out people like people are more attracted to click on you know just make it make it very eye-catching i'm not trying to spend too much time on this and like i said if you hit me with the i don't know how to make thumbnails stop the cap use your own platform thousands of thousands of fucking thousands of damn tutorials of how to do this shit for free on your phone for free on your damn computer for absolutely nothing to waste but some time just researching it bro learning it bro like i bro you have no idea how many people i get that ever comment on my shit saying that i i haven't been growing i can't grow and then i click on this shit and then they don't use any thumbnails they don't their branding is shit i don't know man but and then i give them some tips like yo you should do this and that and then 90 percent of them hits me with oh i don't know how to do that no disrespect to any y'all if you watching this and if i ever told you that shit but trying to help you research 
Let's move on. Now, very, very, very important. Titles, thumbnails, and tags. I see a lot of people that don't even touch the damn tag. Tags will literally move your video up so damn high. Y'all bugging if you don't use that shit. And I see a lot of people do this with their tags that I don't think you should do. They put like random shit on there. Like random like streamers and shit. Like you make a Fortnite video, they be putting Tifu Ninja. Ra random shit. Like that shit's not going to help you at, at all. I'm telling you, by experience, by a small YouTuber, I've tried it all. That shit will not help you. Only tag shit. That's about your video. I'm telling you, that's the best thing. Don't do none of that bullshit. If you're making a video, fucking, what, something I can think of, fucking best landing locations. You put Fortnite best landing locations, best spots, best drops, all that. If you do not throw in no fuck ass Cypher PK and that shit. If it's not about your video, I'm telling you, it's not worth putting in there. It's not going to help you at all. Descriptions. A lot of mistakes I see people making. They throw in random tags in their description. No, your descriptions, you want at least a paragraph. You know, it could be just three sentences depending on the video. Because it's just you explaining what the video is about literally to YouTube. You put that in your description, YouTube sees that shit. And they're going to rank it higher to the people searching for that type of content. If that makes any types of sense. So don't throw in random tags. Actually, like, you know, like write out some sentences and shit. And then at the bottom of that, you can put your socials, whatever else you put in your description. For example, look at my description. That's a perfect example of what you should do in any one of my videos click on any of them i'm telling you i work hard on my description now, now this is for the good stuff how to actually give views on the video you're making now you can have the best thumbnail best video ever created but if can, no one watches it ain't shit you could do i think that's a lot of shit that a lot of these other videos like mistaken like they only be talking about oh, thumbnails you know titles and all that shit but like it goes so much further into that shit and i'm gonna tell you how you can better yourself to make the right videos at the right time to make them do well i'm gonna give you a small example now if you have a computer if you're blessed enough to have a computer download tubebuddy and vidiq immediately immediately it's a month it has so many features to help you with your channel tags and all that if you are unfortunate not fortunate enough to have a computer that's oh fucking k you can do anything with your iphone nowadays or your android or any kind of smartphone if you are unfortunate to have a smartphone then you're not watching this video so you're not even here all right but let's just say you have a computer download all those shit. first thing first thing you want to do is once you get a video idea and you have it don't just go straight into that shit because you never know like how it's gonna do say you want to do how to get v bucks in fortnite you got your idea go to youtube search that shit up scroll and look at the traffic on it when i say traffic i mean how much of these videos are being uploaded now how to get v bucks in fortnite has a lot of high traffic shit a bunch of video so that would mean that's not a very good video for you to do remember you are a small youtuber you can't compete with all those videos so you think of another idea keep searching them up keep getting ideas flowing searching them up and then when you finally find that one for example it's literally just my last video i got by tomorrow it'll probably be at 2000 i got over like 1500 views in a day doing the method i'm literally telling you right now Think of a video idea, search it up, check the traffic on it. And if you're on mobile, you could do this too. And if you're on PC and you have those extensions, vidIQ and TubeBuddy will literally tell you if it's a good video to make or not. I'll tell you the traffic, all that shit to the right side. I swear to God. But if you can't, you can still do this. You could just look at it yourself. Like I said, for example, my last video what was it how to fucking how to find wolverine in battle lab i again i had a bunch of ideas searching it up looking at the traffic how to find wolverine in battle lab looked it straight up now i looked it up not a lot of traffic two buddies said it was a good video to make too not a lot of traffic put it up you know had a great thumbnail great tags great description y'all go check it out look for it yourself two buddy will also show you other people's tags too you know having all the essentials that i need that from step one and two Great branding, tags, title, thumbnail, boom, put it up, whole day, 1,500 views. By the day this goes out, it might it might be up to, up to 2,000. Boom, just like that. And those views could turn into subscribers if you make the video correctly, obviously. And now this very tip, a lot of people get mistaken a lot. It doesn't matter how much time you put into the video you're making. If you don't know how, how to make the actual video get noticed, then that don't mean shit. I used to put up so much damn effort in my videos back in the day with challenges and so much bullshit that just pissed me the fuck off when they didn't do well. So I stopped that shit. So I started focusing more or less on the video. I'm not saying you shouldn't focus on the video. Focus the best you can on the video. But I started focusing a little less on the video and more on how my video is going to show up to people. And that's why I've been doing so well. And just in case you think it was a one-time thing, uh, my last video, I got more videos just like it. I do the exact same thing with literally most mostly all my videos and when you find and when you get one to do good you gotta think you gotta have this mindset what can i do with this video to turn it into a series exactly exactly what i did with my supporter creator code error series but my channel got 
so many subscribers from that shit off of just that series made the video did very well made another one updating people another one updating people i made like four of them haven't made one in like a month and a half for the simple fact that i got no more updates for this shit and i don't want to just throw shit out there for no damn reason but when i do i'll make another one that one probably do well they all they all they're all doing good my first one got 10k next one about to hit 10k other ones 6k one over 1k and it's not me flexing or anything this is me letting you know the growth that you can get from turning a good video into a series again if you need examples click on my video go to freaking uh most popular some shit so you can see the ones that did really well for me check my descriptions check the title like how i format that whole. like you know take notes from people who are doing well i do not recommend taking notes from bigger youtubers because they're gonna give views regardless just based off their fan base so yeah when you when the videos do well you make a series out of them try to get another one to do well again and just rinse and repeat bro all it takes is hard ass work bro this shit's not fucking easy bro like i'm really hoping one day i can get up to a level where i do youtube full time all right another big tip see a lot of people do do my fault and yeah they get some they get some clout for it. i ain't gonna lie but that shit's not, not legit, bro. It's these people that... You ever see those channels that just do Fortnite account giveaway, Fortnite account giveaway, Fortnite account repetitive as fuck? Or like some extra shit like uh, predicting item shot, predicting item shot. Yeah, that shit might could get you f like... It might get you like a thousand subs. Yeah, it could get you a thousand subs. But that shit will not give you a fan base, bro. Like that shit will not take you far. You'll get to like a thousand some subs. You're not going any further than that shit. Because you need you need the people to be there for you, not for your shit. I'm, I'm just saying, I see a lot of people like that. And I just feel like that's the wrong way to go about shit. Like I said, you do you. It, supposedly growing your channel that way. You ain't growing shit. Getting, yeah, you're getting some subs off it. Cool. You're getting some views off of it. Cool. That shit's not going to help you in the long run, especially if you're trying to do this shit for real. All right, another thing I want to talk about. This, this applies with what I just said about the low traffic video. Now, when you make a video with low traffic and you know it obviously does well when it does, that video isn't just like a once, like do well once and that's it. Never going to affect you again. But when you make one of those videos, you're now ranked in search, which is the most important thing. When you're ranked in search bro you stop uploading for like a fucking a month and you'll still be gaining subscribers because there's still gonna be people looking that shit up and you still gonna be popping up bro i took like i took like three weeks off and i think i got like three it was like two weeks two to two and a half weeks i think i think i still gained like a hundred subs off that shit and i wasn't doing absolutely nothing i took a week off not too long ago i took a week off right when i hit 1k yeah i came back to 70 more subs like w when you have ranked videos bro you can you get you still get shit without doing shit is what i'm saying i'm not saying stop you gotta build off that shit you gotta keep going you gotta make more just like that shit the more you make the better and vidIQ even shows like how many views you're getting on this shit per hour like my how to contact epic games video you go on any youtube or anything look up how to contact epic games i'm the first dude to pop up yeah it's like 18,000 views not no million views or none of that but if anyone in the world want to look up how to contact epic games guess who they gonna see me i don't even gotta be on youtube for them to see me or click on my channel or subscribe or give me that view give me that like become a new fan my uh how to fix loading screen glitches just hit 10k like i said you look up how to fix uh loading screen glitches i also pop up i ain't gotta be there you pop up subscribe you like the video random person looking at how to fix that shit i ain't even gotta be on youtube i don't even have to upload for like a year and that shit will still pop up that's what i'm saying bro the most important thing as a small youtuber make ranked videos bro just like that I'm telling you shit will take far bro i'm telling you bro but anyway man i think i covered everything that needs to be covered damn i've been I, this video is like 30 minutes long i've been rambling but anyway man i hope whoever's watching this is trying to succeed on youtube succeeds on youtube i hope your journey goes well i'm really trying to make this shit work out for me i've been through i've been working hard for this shit bro i've been at this shit for like about a year now but anyway man y'all stay safe i'm out this bitch